Sure. All right, so I am over here with uh, two of the audience members, or Justin Bosley, but good thing we grabbed him for a couple of comments. So what's your name? Uh, my name's Ian. Ian, what's yours? I'm Amber. So Ian, Amber, uh, what do you guys think about the show? Uh, I have to say the highlight was really Mark Zang's performance. Uh, he sort of grabbed the crowd early on, reeled them in, and just sort of like milked it, you know, like had the tension just right, had people laughing, you know, was insulting people, keeping everyone on the edge, kind of like, you know, a master of live raw comedy, you know, like it's, it's great to see someone who can like work a crowd like that and, you know, just sort of keep everyone on the edge of their seats, not exactly knowing where they're going, but like taking them on a really smooth, funny ride. Wow, best description so far from all the audience members. So how about you, Amber? I thought it was great. I like to um, see all the different performers. I was a little surprised when the two white people started it out. You know, I was like, wait, this is an Asian comedy show. And I'm like, okay, you know. Um, but yeah, it was I, first my first live comedy. And first I, live comedy? Yeah. Wow, awesome. So I enjoyed it. I laughed a lot. I liked watching the, the audience members kind of double over and get into it. And yeah, it was great to see the play off of the audience. I, I thought that Michael or Mark was the best at that. Yeah, absolutely. Mark, uh, I'm sorry, Mark definitely made an impact <laughs> on the crowd. See, you got me, you got me all confused too. But anyway, for uh, some of the viewers at home right, that haven't seen him before, what do you have to say to them? Um, well, Mark really struck me like when he came out the gate because he's had really funny facial expressions. Um, and he sort of, he was, he was doing this bus joke uh, about uh, sort of being on the bus with a horny, dysfunctional bus driver. And he just sort of like, he, he kind of like slowly let it roll out. So it was sort of like one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, and just taking it further and further, punching it up harder and harder. And, uh, you know, it's just great to see someone who's like so skilled at that. And his, his confidence, his savoir faire, you know, his skill, it was just so apparent early on. I just felt like, oh, this is fun. You know, this is going to be a great ride. Wow. Um, did he pay you or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought he knew when to pause, too. Because a lot of the other comedians feel like they have to, like, compulsively move forward all the time. But he stopped a lot and kind of just used the audience enthusiasm to keep him going, which was kind of fun. All right. Now, let me ask you guys this. Would you watch him again? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Definitely. You guys heard that? If you guys haven't seen him before, you definitely need to watch them yourself. All right. Besides comments and feedback from Asian people, you know, we can't be biased here. We also want to get some comments from a Caucasian person, Keeping right? Keeping it white. Keeping it, Keeping it white, exactly. So what's your name, bro? I'm John, man. What's up? John, man, where are you from? San Francisco. Born San Francisco? Raised, yeah. All right, yeah. cool, man. Representing San Francisco. That's Doing what I'm right saying. Thing. So well, you just came out watching the cocky Asians. Yeah. How do you feel about them? Fucking, I got to be honest, funnier in hell. I was not surprised, but I was blown away. I got to be honest, man. I, I came into it going, this will be all right, and it was funny as hell, man. Uh, getting picked on helps. I mean, it's always funny when you get picked on, but that shit was funny, man. Yeah, definitely, man. It's all it's all good humor, all good fun. Oh, of course. You know, nothing so, personal. Yeah. So let me ask you. was personal. I like that. That's nah, cool. it's cool, That's man. Even better. But cool, man. But you know, they did come up with some pretty good jokes. Let me ask you this: Would you watch them again? Oh, for sure. Are you kidding me? Any day of the week. That shit was funny as hell. I come back tomorrow if they were playing again tomorrow. Uh -huh. Well, there you guys have it. Unbiased opinion from a white guy. No, the cocky Asians. Funny as hell, for sure. Woo! Woo! Man, these cocky Asians are hella funny. Almost busted my gut just watching them so much and laughing so hard. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the show because all funny things must come to an end. But on the other hand, if you can't get enough of the cocky Asians, just log on to Facebook and search for their Facebook fan page, which is Cocky Asians Community Group. And while you're on there, be sure to check out our group page at groups.to slash ASVN. And for additional clips and music videos from other Asian American artists, Log on to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Asian Style Vid Network. All right, and all the way up to our number one music video, it's the only Asian American artist to ever reach, in this case, Asian American artists, to reach Hot Billboard's number one spot, the Far East Movement, with Fly Like a G6. I'm your host, Jimmy C. Thanks for watching, y'all.